I like you a lot. <laughs> Good afternoon, Chiefs. I'm Stefan Jean, and today is Wednesday, February 17th. We here at Chief TV would like to present a daily segment in honor of Black History Month called This Day in Black History. Let's take a look. In 1776, the British, aided by black loyalists, are winning the war, while General Washington, a strident slave owner, won't allow enslaved people to join the fight. But that doesn't stop a woman named Phyllis Wheatley from supporting the cause. She's not fighting on the front lines, but to me, she plays an important role in the revolution. She is born a free person in West Africa. When she's around seven or eight years old, she's captured. She is put on a slave ship, and she sailed across the Atlantic Ocean. She arrives in 1761 in Boston, and so she's purchased by this family. The name of the ship that she sails on is the Phyllis. The family's name is Wheatley, which is how we come to know her as Phyllis Wheatley. The Wheatleys, they encouraged her learning. The general consensus among whites at that time was that people of African descent could not learn. And so part of it, I'm sure, was an experiment to see if this little girl could really learn. She was amazing. In 16 months after arriving in the colonies, she had mastered the English language as a child. She learned Greek and Latin. She was, And this is at a moment in which most people couldn't read or write across the colonies. And soon enough, she begins writing these poems. The Wheatleys see pretty immediately that she has this wonderful ability. She has this facility with the English language. And she's supported by the Wheatley family to the point where they decide that they would like to see if they can get a book of her poems published. In 1773, Phyllis publishes her first volume of poetry. Just 20 years old, she's the first African-American, first enslaved person, and only the third woman in America to publish a book of poems. She writes a letter to George Washington, a known slave owner, and she essentially celebrates him. And I think that she sees this as a revolution that is going to bring some changes, especially for her own people. So she is encouraging him and hoping and wishing and anticipating great things from George Washington. She is trying to figure out who is going to be the true champion of liberty. And if it seems like Washington is going to be the champion for liberty, then she wants him to be successful. One of the things that's so interesting is that George Washington writes back to her in the most respectful of ways. He calls her madam. He praises her for her writing, basically says he couldn't do that, and says, please come, and uh, I would be delighted to entertain you. Washington signs his letter, I am, with great respect, your humble servant. No one knows for sure if they ever did meet face to face, but that doesn't matter. Phyllis Wheatley has made her point. George Washington, I think, realized that uh, black people were human beings. People of color are looked down upon until we understand that they're human and they have something to offer. And she could see the effect of her own presence on Washington and understood that maybe more whites could be won over to realize that slavery was uh, an injustice and an evil. Wow, that's truly remarkable. Teachers and students, Please remember to follow all safety protocols. It is also important to remember that if you aren't feeling well, please stay home. Let's work together to keep each other safe this school year. Attention students who wish to park on campus. You must first log on to the school's website to find school cash online. 
Once you have paid the $35 decal fee, Mr. Porter will reach out to you with the appropriate paperwork. Once that has been completed, Corporal Mitchell will issue you your parking decal. If you have any questions, please email Mr. Porter with questions. Speaking of parking, students and staff, the parking spots with the yellow cones are for visitors only. Thank you for your cooperation. Attention Chiefs who still need or want to take the SAT and ACT. There are several Saturday dates available for registration this summer. Don't wait till the last minute to take these assessments. If you have any questions, please email your guidance counselor for more information. Okay, Chiefs, let's turn it over to Mr. Porter for a very special announcement. Hey, Chiefs, great news, guys. We're giving you an opportunity to win $100, a $100 Visa gift card. Now that we have your attention, here's how you can win $100. All you need to do is make a submission as a part of our Santa Lucia's t-shirt design contest and you will be eligible to win a $100 Visa gift card. That's right, a $100 Visa gift card. Here's all you need to do. Make sure that you follow these guidelines. Pay close attention. If you don't follow these rules, you will be disqualified, which means you won't win $100 as a part of the prize. Also, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you do not have any profanity and that you make sure that this video, that your, your drawing is school appropriate. Also, if you're submitting a hand drawing, make sure you submit it no larger than a regular standard size piece of paper. We wanna make sure that we have an opportunity to save this, this, these uh, submissions and create them and put them in the format that we need so your design can be featured right here. Listen guys, not only do you have an opportunity to have your artwork featured on all of our t-shirt designs for our positive behavior support plan and our positive behavior t-shirts, you also will win, again, $100. Here's the fine print. Take a moment to read that. You guys will have until February 26, which is a Friday, to submit your drawings or your illustrations. All you need to do is submit your illustration to the Google Classroom right here, guys. Take a moment to get the Google Classroom, access it, upload your submission, uh, and then we'll be able to announce a, win a winner. The winner will be announced in the first week of March. Please, guys, I know you're excited. I know you're as excited as I am. So guess what? Get started on those submissions right away. Thank you and good luck. Remember, Chiefs, if you'd like to participate in this t-shirt design contest, make sure to join the Google Classroom that is located on the screen. There you'll find all the important information regarding the t-shirt contest. Good luck, everybody. Anyone interested in tryouts or conditioning for spring sports, you must have completed packet, COVID-19 waiver, and a fee turned in before participating. Athletic packets can be found on campus in the main office, student services, and guidance. It also can be found on the school's website. Well, Chiefs, that's all we have for you today. I'm Stefan Jean. Have an amazing day.